Francis II was king of the two Sicilies from 1859 to 1861. He was the last king of the two Sicilies. As successive invasions by Giuseppe Garibaldi and Victor Emmanuel II of Sardinia ultimately brought an end to his rule, and marked the first major event of Italian unification. After he was deposed the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies and the Kingdom of Sardinia were merged into the newly formed Kingdom of Italy. Biography Early life The only son and heir of Ferdinand II of the Two Sicilies by his first wife Maria Cristina of Savoy. Francis II was the last of the Bourbon kings of Naples, where he was born in 1836. His education had been much neglected and he proved a man of weak character, greatly influenced by his stepmother Archduchess Maria Theresa of Austria, whom he feared, and also by the priests, and by the Camarilla, or reactionary court set. On 3 February 1859 in Bari, Francis married Princess Duchess Maria Sophia in Bavaria, of the Royal Bavarian House of Wittelsbach. Their only daughter, Maria Christina, lived only three months. Reign Francis II ascended the throne on the death of his father. For the post of Prime Minister he at once appointed Carlo Filangieri, who, realizing the importance of the Franco-Piedmontese victories in Lombardy, advised Francis II to accept the alliance with the Kingdom of Sardinia proposed by Cavour. On 7 June a part of the Swiss Guard mutinied, and while the king mollified him by promising to redress their grievances, General Alessandro Nunzanti gathered his troops, who surrounded the mutineers and shot them down. The incident resulted in the disbanding of the whole Swiss Guard, at the time the strongest bulwark of the Bourbon dynasty. Cavour again proposed an alliance to divide the Papal States between Piedmont and Naples but Francis rejected an idea which to him seemed like heresy. Filangieri strongly advocated a constitution as the only measure which might save the dynasty, but on the king's refusal he resigned. Garibaldi's invasion Meanwhile, the revolutionary parties were conspiring for the overthrow of the Bourbons in Calabria and Sicily and Giuseppe Garibaldi was preparing for a raid in the south of Italy. A conspiracy in Sicily was discovered and the plotters punished with brutal severity, but Rosalino Pila and Francesco Crispi, who had organized the movement, escaped execution. When Garibaldi landed at Marsala with his expedition of the Thousand, he conquered the island with astonishing ease. These events at last coaxed Francis II into granting a constitution, but its promulgation was followed by disorders in Naples and the resignation of several ministers. Liborio Romano became head of the government. The disintegration of the army and navy proceeded apace, and Cavour sent a Piedmontese squadron carrying troops on board to watch over these events. Garibaldi, who had crossed the Strait of Messina, was advancing northwards and was everywhere received by the people as a liberator. After long hesitations and even an appeal to Garibaldi himself, and on the advice of Romano, Francis II left Naples on 6 September with his wife Maria Sophia, the court and the diplomatic corps, and went by sea to Gaeta, where a large part of the army was concentrated. The next day Garibaldi entered Naples, was enthusiastically welcomed, and formed a provisional government. Piedmontese invasion King Victor Emmanuel II had decided on the invasion of the Papal States, and after occupying Umbria and the marsh entered the Neapolitan Kingdom. Garibaldi's troops defeated the Neapolitan royalists at the Battle of Volturno, while the Piedmontese captured Capua. By late 1860, only Gaeta, Messina, and Civitella del Tronto still held out. The siege of Gaeta by the Piedmontese began on 6 November 1860. Both Francis II and his wife behaved with great coolness and courage. 
Even when the French fleet, whose presence had hitherto prevented an attack by sea, was withdrawn, they still resisted. It was not until 13 February 1861 that the fortress capitulated. Overthrow thus the kingdom of the two Sicilies ceased to exist and its territory was incorporated into that of the kingdom of Sardinia, and Francis II was deposed. Francis and Maria Sophia, now non-royals, first lived in Rome as guests of the Pope, where they maintained a government in exile recognized by some Catholic powers including France, Spain, Austria and Bavaria. After the Prussian victory against Austria in 1866 and subsequent expansion of Italian territory, they disbanded this government and left Rome before it was occupied by the Italians in 1870. They led a wandering life from then on, living in Austria, France, and Bavaria. In 1894, Francis died at Arco in Trentino. His widow survived him by 31 years and died in Munich. Upon the death of Francis II, his half-brother, Prince Alfonso, became the pretender to the throne of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Ancestors, Titles, Styles, Honours and Arms Titles and Styles The 16th of January 1836 to 22 May 1859 His Royal Highness the Duke of Calabria The 22nd of May 1859 to 27 December 1894 His Majesty the King of the Two Sicilies Honours Grand Master of the Order of Saint Januarius Grand Master of the Sacred Military Constantinian Order of Saint George Grand Master of the Order of St. Ferdinand and of Merit, Grand Master of the Order of St. George and Reunion, Grand Master of the Royal Order of Francis I, Foreign Decorations Knight of the Order of the Golden Fleece, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Pedro I, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Stephen of Hungary. Knight of the Military Order of Maria Theresa, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit under the title of Saint Louis, Knight of the Order of the Black Eagle, Knight of the Order of Saint Hubert.